This episode of Second Vermont is brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Hickok, and Boardman Realty. I love the fact that I have one thing to do, but so many ways to express that. So I don't consider that obsession, I consider that creative outlet. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We're here at the North End Studio in Burlington, Vermont for Bob Hoffman's Harmonica Case Art Collection. <laughs> and for the last six, almost seven years, I have been collecting individually handcrafted cases in which to hold my harmonica. Bob's also known as Hoff the Harmonica Case Man. And he's known as that because he has about 220 harmonica cases. Every one of them has the name H-O-F-F, -F, my name on the back in beautiful beadwork. All of these, by the way, are wearable. I won't say that I always build my wardrobe around my harmonica cases, but it definitely is a consideration. So it's a very unheralded and yet fine uh, instrument, I believe. I love to support the artist community. I love the give and take of the creation process. So Huff um, came to my studio last, Art Hop, and asked me if I would be interested in painting a harmonica case for him. I said, can you make me a case that would be replications of the old Coney Islands? And I only had uh, two dates in high school, and one of them was to Coney Island. This is the first of its kind. <laughs> I've never painted any harmonica cases. In fact, I don't even know how to play the harmonica. <laughs> Strangely enough, I, this is my first one. He, he really wants one. He's been after me for, what, three years, two years, something like that? And I said, listen, take your time. If it's a hassle, it's not going to be good. They need to do it when they are ready. And that's I want him to really want it, you know? So I'm making him wait. So this is a great vehicle for, for Mr. Hoffman and his ego, and our egos, too. To take any one thing and then have many, many people work on that one thing. If you know your harmonica case is gonna be amongst other artists, your ego takes over, and you spend an inordinate amount of time trying to perfect your harmonica case. I love Burlington, and I've spent a lot of time here with artists in the community. I call this one my little harmonica trap, made by Sarah Jomonville, and the joke I tell is you put the little harmonica food in the back, and of course the harmonica comes along looking for the harmonica food, goes in for it, and boom, harmonica case. And you have built yourself a harmonica case out of the pieces of the harmonica. Beth Robinson, Bizarre Dolls. I said, can you mellow out a little bit and make me a harmonica case it's with a little harmonica in the hand? This is a beautiful one made out of license plate. Aaron Stein made this moon dog. He gratuitously, without any permission, added a little Vermont pipe on the bottom. A Jake Rifkin, and Jake is a phenomenal wire artist and made this one out of wire. It is built from uh, discarded ivory. This is from chain mail. Elkhorn dominoes. The whole case is made out of rosewood. Hand carved harmonicas. And this is your basic cork harmonica case holder. Remember, every case needs to have the name on the back, so he did, I think as it's now called, a tramp stamp. It is a treasure chest that opens up, but in addition to the harmonica case, it is a kaleidoscope, the international collection. Jamaica, Israel, Guatemala, from a woman in Spain, a woman from Kenya, Peru. That's a hand-carved figurine. And they put the symbol on there of my birth date, which happens to be the king. There are different phases of my life here from the Woodstock days, to my work days now, to my original Brooklyn days. You know, sometimes what one person sees as a hobby, others can see as an obsession. Uh, I have a full-time job, so I'm not go doing this full-time. I do this for fun and frolic. You can see Haas Harmonica Case Collection here at the North End Studio through the end of August. We'll get stuck in my with you again real soon. I think you should be shooting from this angle. Can we get these cases in the back? Okay. You are directing me. It's funny. You, you took over from the second I met you. And here's what we're going to do. Let me tell you. And I'm the one editing, so uh, just keep that in mind, mister. So you're telling me that's what I have to put at the end of the video now? No, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> 
We're starting to outgrow our, our home now and we're just renting and we're getting married in two weeks so we want to start a new home together. To be represented by a realtor makes more sense now than ever. Oh, it's great. He does everything for you and explains everything. Your home is your largest investment that you're ever going to make. Take your time. You have to have fun with it. My goal as your realtor is to help you make a good decision that you're going to be happy with for a long time.